everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an apartment makeover and I am kind of doing it a little bit different today. As you guys can see, instead of bulldozing, I'm just kind of like um, getting rid of everything in the apartment. And I really wanted to keep the original shape of this apartment, like all of the rooms where they were. And I kind of wanted just to do like a makeover, like a facelift and keep it as it is and just bring in some of the new vampire stuff that we have. So um, I am making it for the family that um, lives here like that came with the game there's like a mother and a father and a little girl I believe so I did age that girl down into a toddler because I really wanted to do a toddler room in here so the only thing like this where I'm putting the windows that is where the bathroom was originally and um, I kind of just wanted to make it like a showcase area like with some skulls and just some like really old like dead flowers and things like that. So I wanted to do something like that and I like how it ended up turning out. The floor, it's my favorite floor. I know I mention it in every video but I really love it and it's the exact same as the basketball flooring. It's just um, on a diagonal so you can make it herringbone or whatever and I actually had a comment on um, my toddler's family apartment that I did that had that I did use the basketball flooring um, in there and somebody's like oh my gosh what the heck she used basketball flooring but like guys <laughs> this is like a building like you're building you have to play around with all of the things like isn't that the point of having all of this fun stuff and I mean that basketball flooring has a bunch of colors and it's just like hardwood floor and it has a shine to it and it's one of my favorite flooring so to bring that in with on a diagonal like oh my gosh like I'm matte in love so I made the floors dark and I kind of lightened everything up like as you guys know this is a girly apartment as you've seen in the thumbnail so there is a lot of pink but I used a lot of the furniture from the new pack so I really do like once I've been building now I really do like the cupboards um in one of my first videos that I did when I was playing around with this pack I was a little bit disappointed in the cupboards because because I mean, they are the exact same as the cupboards that we already have. They just have like the Victorian designs in them. And I was a little like underwhelmed by them because I felt like they were so similar. But now that I've been like building with them for a while and I do really like them, like the black and white, we definitely needed something like that in the game um, instead of just like the solid white cupboards and things like that. So, I mean, I do like them in the green. I've actually been using a lot. So, I mean, I really do like them and I think that they do work perfectly in these builds, especially with that little like, um, heritage or I keep saying heritage, um, the like Victorian kind of design in the corners of them. So I really like like when I'm building in these apartments that have like the taller walls, um, I really like layering the upper cabinets just so that they kind of, I don't know, have like a more luxurious and rich feeling to them, if it makes sense. Like, instead of just doing like one string of cupboards around the top, if you do put that like half cover above, um, I just find it adds like a little bit of fanciness to the room. And I do get a lot of questions um, in the comments, like how you're able to choose from those cabinets. So when you are building and you're in what like the upper cabinets and I believe like the bottom as well make sure that you have counters off that way you can change um from all of like the upper cabinets you can get the tall cabinet you can get end cabinets and you can get the one with like the spice on it and the same with the bottom you can have like half cabinets in case you don't want that full like two um full square it's like a half square if your walls are a little bit shorter and even the same with the bar area if you want to get like that rounded bar if you have your counters off you have that option as well so that's just kind of a tip and I just kind of wanted to address that in the video because I know I will be asked that um also I use the cheat move object so if you do download 
any of my rooms or builds, you definitely want to make sure that you do have your cheats enabled and that you are using the move objects cheat just to make sure that everything is placed exactly where it needs to be and in case I use the zero or nine to move objects up or down um, having that on like if you don't have that on when you put that in your game everything is just going to be like out of place and make no sense so you definitely need to have that on and this is going to be in my origin library so anything that I built is definitely there um, for some reason, like some of my earlier builds, like, I mean, you guys, I have like, honestly, like over a hundred builds on there, but for some reason, like I've had some issues with them not staying on the gallery and I'm not sure if like when I put them on, I put it straight to the gallery and now I've been putting them into my library first and then going in and sharing to the gallery. So I'm kind of hoping that might kind of help some, but I don't know if I'm still doing something wrong. I'm kind of learning in like that area, but I always use the hashtag KristenRieXO because when I do these voiceovers, like I usually don't put it on the gallery until it actually gets on YouTube, um, like once it goes live. And yeah, so I always have that hashtag and I usually keep the titles of the builds pretty basic and I'm not sure how I'm gonna be putting this one in the library. Um, I probably will do it as like one full apartment build and then I'll probably put like the um, bedroom like the master bedroom as like separate in case you just wanted that room because the kitchen and living room and like the long hallway and entrance it's all one room so I probably won't do that as one room because it's like basically the whole entire apartment so yeah it will be there in case you did have any interest in using it so I have a bunch of new builds coming up and I have so many ideas and every time I start doing like a new build I don't even know where to start especially with all of the toddlers like I feel like so many packs came out at once and I mean I guess toddlers isn't a pack it was like an update a free update and I mean that came out and then I had the vampires game and I don't know <laughs> I'm kind of like so many ideas so let me know in the comments below if there's any specific kind of build you guys would love to see me build um definitely love getting ideas and I think I'm definitely going to work on like some kind of a daycare and I've been getting a lot of requests to do that kind of thing so I don't know I might do that and then I kind of have an idea to kind of do a house that has like seven toddlers and like an adult in case anybody wants to try doing like the seven toddler challenge I don't think I'm actually gonna attempt the challenge on my channel but kind of want to build it just for something fun and then the house will kind of be like toddlers taken over like there's just toys everywhere or something like that so I mean this apartment I kept really girly in the fact that there's lots of pink and I really like that the furniture they didn't keep everything like um, dark classic vampire they really brought a lot of like lighter colors and even with the bed there's like a white bed and um, a lot of like the whiter creamy kind of furniture like this mirror as well so I really like that they did that because I mean generally that's like my style and I feel like it works really well I would have liked to have seen more of that furniture be like all cream instead of have like the gold accents on it just because sometimes I build and use a lot of like silver or gray kind of accents but I mean it worked out really well in this apartment I think it came together okay and that dressing table I I'm really like I'm glad that I thought of putting that in there because well like the skulls on top it's just kind of like a vampire dressing table and it worked out pretty well and I kind of put that archway into the bedroom instead of a door. I don't really know why. I just wanted to use the archway and I haven't used it in a lot of my last build. So I find that it's okay because when you walk in that archway, you're not going to be like looking right into the bed. It's kind of like those um, dressing armoires and the dress in the... Um, uh, makeup table so I think that's okay and I really love that new tub that we have with the like clear shower curtain I think it's perfect and I mean I didn't use that other one a lot that had the shower curtain that had like the design on it because I don't know I just didn't think it was that pretty so that one the new one is definitely really nice I really like it 
And oh my gosh, the rugs that are in this pack as well are definitely my favorite rugs. And um, they size up really well too. So I did put a fireplace in here. I, I usually don't put fireplaces in my builds. I don't know why. I'm just not drawn to them, but I really do like that one. And I kind of saved all of the, like, when I'm building this, you're going to think that it's not very vampire-ish in the fact that there's not really, like, cobwebs or anything like that. But I saved all of that for the very end because I just kind of wanted it to be, like, um, build the house, kind or build the apartment, and, like, as if it was just like a really pretty apartment and then I really wanted to put that spin on it at the end and just I really had overdid it with like the pulled wallpaper and cracks and cobwebs and everything like that because I kind of wanted to bring that like lived in for like a hundred years kind of feeling to it so I wanted to just like build the apartment that like when she moved in this is kind of um what it looked like and then over the years um that's kind of I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know, but I did add in all of the cracks and the good thing about those is it does not cost any money. So, I mean, I don't see how it really would cost money, but um, <laughs> yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoy. If you did like watching this speed build take place, please make sure to give me a very big thumbs up so I know you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe. If you do like watching anything Sims 4 related, I post everything on my channel four to five days a week all based around Sims 4 and it's mostly builds. I have been getting a lot of questions about if I plan on doing any Let's Plays and I mean now that I've been getting quite a few new subscribers I think that's definitely something I'll probably be bringing to my channel probably starting like once a week. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of the love and support I've been getting on my little tiny channel and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video, there are going to be some after pictures here right quick, just so you get a little closer look into the room, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!